Hey guys, Nick Smith here, and real quick, I just wanted to cover how to set up my workspace, and this is something I've been asked a few times of how I get my Photoshop to look the way it does, and it's actually really simple. So this is the default essentials uh, kind of setup here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little window here, and we're going to click this drop down, and then we're going to select photography. And now this is the base that I set my workspace up on. So what I like to do is immediately just right click on libraries, close it, right click on adjustments, close that. I drag my histogram over and select the navigator here. Then I opened up a, just a black screen of a two by three, which is a normal size for a portrait orientation photo. I drag that down all the way until it fills the window there. Then what I like to do is I like to take the history panel here and I drag that down into this window. So that way it's easy for me to just kind of pop over into history and edit it in here because I don't really like the way it pops out and does the little drop down window here. So once we get that finished, we're basically done. Like that's really all there is to setting up the workspace that I typically uh, like to use for my photos. So hopefully this is able to help you guys and you know that way you can follow along a little better with my videos and your workspace will look exactly like mine. And the reason why I was able to just kind of remove the uh, panels up here as libraries, I don't really use that uh, as an asset when I'm editing my photos. And the second thing is the adjustments. That's a panel right down here. All those things in that panel can be accessed by this little click menu here. So it's really simple. Don't worry, you're not going to be missing anything. And that's how you can set it up like me. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.